Hi everyone, welcome to my house reveal video. Finally, it's fully furnished and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's go inside and check it out. First thing you will see is my dad's little garden. So he planted some papaya trees and some house plants. Now let's head to the garage. As you can see, it's quite spacious. It can fit up to two to three cars. It is a little bit messy because we moved just a few months ago. You can see our um, washing machine and there's a stove. And here are our dogs. We have 10 dogs. Then you can see our mini vegetable garden in the backyard. We have patola, basil, arugula, and much more. Plus we have a sink so we can easily water the plants. So now let's go inside the house. We used a glass lighting door for this entrance. So this is our dining table and that's the living room and here's our kitchen. It is quite spacious <laughs> and well lit. Our floors are made of porcelain tiles with a very gorgeous marble design. Then we chose a modern minimalistic design for our dining room lighting. For our living room, we used our antique Narada furniture set. Now let's check out our veranda. This is like a receiving area where you can host some guests if you don't want to let them in. <laughs> this is such a great place to hang out and chill. It's an open air veranda. Then we put some blinds so if you want to have a little bit of privacy. Then let's go back inside the house and as you can see there's a little storage below the stairs. Then let's go to our main kitchen. First thing you will notice is this long counter breakfast nook. Made of um, porcelain tiles with a marble design. Then my mom decided to put a lot of cabinets because she has a lot of kitchenware and glassware. Now let's check out our pantry or our food storage cabinet. It is quite spacious and it's the perfect place to stock up on your provisions and groceries. Now we're heading to our dirty kitchen. This is where we cook. You can see our spices and condiments, our pots and pans that are used for cooking. So it's all here. We also have our washing machine and little sink and as well as our plates. This door will lead to the um, backyard. <laughs> That's my dad. Now, let me show you our bathroom number one. This is for the visitors. So there's a shower and toilet and a sink. Then let's go to our room number one, which is my parents' bedroom and the master bedroom. So it has built-in cabinets spacious enough for your clothes there is a window with a sliding glass and sliding screen it is also well lit and spacious and it has a bathroom inside 
so this is bathroom number two it's bigger than the other one and it has shower toilet and sink Then let's head upstairs to check out the second floor. We have a baby in the house so we need to put this protective railing. Then here is our office room or our family room so yeah these are my brothers and sisters they're working from home this is also the area where we watch movies sing KTV and it's air conditioned now let's head out to our terrace so we have a glass lighting door with screen as well and then as you can see it's an open air terrace but my dad decided to put a net so it won't be that hot and it provides some shade our subdivision has plenty of trees and plants and this is the view from our terrace it's very beautiful let's go back inside the house to check out the rooms This is room number two, my sister's bedroom, and it's a pink themed room. It has built in cabinets, and at the back, she has a little balcony. There. Her room is well lit. And there's an LED lighting set up on her ceiling. Now let's go to my room, which is room number two. It has shelves where I put all my PRs and makeup and skincare. Then I also have a built in cabinet for my clothes. That's my side table. I decorated my room and the theme is minimalist Nordic designs, mostly white and maple themed furniture. For my vanity and cabinet, I had it custom made. I will link it down below so you can check them out. For my for the curtains, I decided to use a Korean themed curtain or blinds. It gives a nice aesthetic to the room it also has a sliding window and sliding screen my room is well lit there's warm and cool lighting and then I also have an LED light set up you can easily change the color and also the pattern via remote control it is really cool I love it Next will be bathroom number three. This is me and my sister's bathroom. So we share. It also has a shower, toilet, and a sink. Now let's go to room number four, which is the guest room. But since no, we don't have a guest at the moment, we're using it as a stock room. It is connected to room number five. So this is the place where we put all our shoes and stuff. <laughs> Next is room number five. It is a connecting room. This is where my nephew and his parents sleep. It doesn't have a built-in cabinet because the cabinet is in room number four. It does have its own toilet. This is toilet number four. 
So it has shower, CR, and sink. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed our house tour and see you on my next video. Bye!